This person is suffering from a condition that affects millions of people around the world. The symptoms include extreme fatigue, impaired concentration and memory, and the loss of muscular coordination. If left untreated, the condition can produce more severe symptoms, like muscular tremors, impaired vision, even fainting. This person is suffering from a severe case of jet lag. Hey, you all right? Let me help you up. Yeah. Ah, yes. Jet lag has ruined more vacations and botched more business meetings than the airline food and in-flight movie combined. But you know, the symptoms of jet lag are not just a product of crossing a few time zones. Nope. You can experience the same symptoms when you start the graveyard shift at work for the first time. So why do you feel so lousy? Well, two words. Circadian dysrhythmia. Simply put, you've lost your rhythm. <laughs> no, not that rhythm. Circadian dysrhythmia refers to your circadian rhythm, otherwise known as your daily body rhythm. You see our body temperature, heart rate, hormone levels, every cell in our body follows its own daily schedule. These individual schedules are synchronized by a master clock in our brain. Actually, it's two small clusters of cells located in a region of the brain called the hypothalamus. The master clock activates, adjusts, and synchronizes all our biological processes throughout the day. It controls everything from brainwave activity to the production of urine. Excuse me. As well as coordinating our biological processes, the master clock ensures our processes are in sync with the world outside. Light levels, meals, work schedules, and alarm clocks are all cues the master clock uses to set the daily rhythm of our bodies. Think of your circadian rhythm as a symphony your body plays each day. Each member of the orchestra represents a cell in your body. The sheet music in front of them represents the individual schedules they have to follow. Now, orchestrating all these different schedules is the master clock in your brain, or the conductor. So what does this symphony sound like anyway? I mean, how does our daily body rhythm play out? Well, a typical day consists of a series of ups and downs of alertness, very much like the movements in a symphony. The day starts off at a moderate tempo. Your level of alertness begins to rise along with the level of pain-killing hormones in your body. In fact, numerous studies have shown early morning to be the least sensitive time for pain. So it's a good time to schedule that dentist appointment. From about 10 a.m. through noon, the pace really picks up. Your alertness is at its peak. It's a good time to organize, plan, and deal with complex problems. Jelly fill or the glaze? From about 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., the pace really slows down. It's that time of the day when you feel like taking a nap. It's called the post-lunch dip, but it has little to do with how much you ate at lunch. We actually have a natural urge to sleep during these hours. Around 5 p.m., the pace picks up again. Your alertness returns, your long-term memory peaks, and your body temperature starts to rise. In fact, the best time to exercise is between the hours of 5 and 7 p.m. Your muscles are warm, and your hand-eye coordination is at its peak. <laughs> midnight the pace slows once again your level of alertness begins to drop and eventually bottoms out between 3 and 6 a.m. not a good time for any tasks that require hand-eye coordination if you're smart you'll be in bed so what does this have to do with circadian dysrhythmia and jet lag well, when the orchestra is in sync, 
we have rhythm. The symphony sounds... Magnifico! But what if we replace the conductor's master music score with a new one, but forgot to replace everyone else's? Then how would the symphony sound? Pretty lousy. That's because everybody's out of sync. A similar thing happens with jet lag. When you fly in an east-west direction, you cross time zones. The environmental cues your master clock uses to set your body rhythm have now shifted. It's now day where it was night, and your watch is behind or ahead. Now, it's easy to reset the watch on your wrist, not so easy for the master clock in your brain. It continues to tick away on the old schedule which means you're out of sync with your environment. And that has consequences. For example, your internal morning wake-up call may arrive in the middle of the night. <sighs> what the? Your breakfast may sit undigested in your stomach because your digestive system isn't expecting it. Your master clock and biological functions eventually adjust to their new environment, but they do so at different rates. Your sleep pattern, for example, will adjust before your digestive system does. This throws your body into further chaos as the different systems scramble to catch up with each other. This rather uncomfortable period of adjustment is what we call jet lag. So, can you do anything about jet lag? Well, you can reduce its impact. The key is to quickly reset your master clock. That means exposing your master clock to as many of the new environmental cues as possible. So, when you arrive at your destination, don't hide in your hotel room. Get out. Do as the natives do. When they eat, you eat. When they socialize, you socialize. When is nachos, my good man? Even if you've been up all night, don't go to bed until nighttime rolls around again. Of course, there is one surefire method to avoid jet lag. Now, if I calculated this right, food stops and pee breaks aside, I should be in San Diego, oh, by mid-December.